you're going <laughs> to, you're going to hear them say things about the media. I literally am sitting here thinking what, what? And you, you have to swallow and say, no, they they take themselves very seriously. So this is a very telling window into how a lot of folks who especially work at the network level, think about their role in legacy news. And it's, it is, I, 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 I wish I could say therapy would help them. I don't think it will, Bill. I don't think it will. I'm going to go old school for a second, Allie. You probably remember, and a lot of our viewers will remember, do not attempt to adjust your television, folks. This is real. This is happening in live and living color. And this is, if there was ever a war of the worlds for corporate news journalism, you're about to see it now. Don't, don't try to call anybody, you know, it, it's legit. This is what's happening. Joining us now, former White House Communications Director for President Obama, Dan Pfeiffer. He's the author of the new book entitled Battling the Big Lies. So perfect to have you here. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. And, you know, there's a, a level of disinformation that has pervaded our politics. If you agree with that, then how to battle the big lie? Well, I think it, it begins with understanding how. To okay, I'm going to stop real fast because he has a book. I have a book. Okay, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is by Cheryl Atkinson. Okay, it's called Stonewalled: My Fight for Truth Against the mm. Forces of Obstruction, Intimidation, and Harassment in Obama's Washington. Okay, this guy was commun. Did they say communications? Right. He That's was the communications did. director under the Obama administration. Okay. Bill, just give me give me 48 seconds to just read this part of her book that I, I was reading on the airplane. So she's at the IRE conference, which is for investigative uh, investigative journalists. And she goes into this uh, this smaller breakout session where there are attorneys who work for these networks. And she says, they're now discussing how the Obama administration has crossed the line in withholding public information from the public. Quote, in all my experience, this is by far the worst, least transparent administration, says one of the network lawyers on the speaker's panel. He goes on to describe what he sees as the Obama administration's outrageous pattern of rejecting Freedom of Information Act requests. And he pulls no punches. He tells the audience of investigative reporters that he's worried about what's happening to journalism under this administration, about the liberties that the government is taking. He says it's unprecedented. Quote, we'd better start doing something about it or it's just going to get worse. On social media and you say digital, yeah. let's play a huge role in this. New, new networks that have popped up that are solely for the big lie and for Trump type information. No! Right there, it is, if you are someone... You know, 70% of Americans go to Facebook. Right. 40% of that's, Americans get their news on Facebook. That's not where you get news. That's, but that's where people go. And what they're seeing but is... But it's not news. It, it, it is not news. <laughs> that's that's who? News. Ah! It, it, it's very hard See? To... She goes after this. She goes twice. But that's not where you get your news. But that's not news. We're no. news. Facebook is not news. I've, <laughs> not, I've not seen somebody fight so hard for their job since the NFL was on strike a few years back. Oh my God. You know what? what? The, the funny thing is I would totally agree with her that a lot of the stuff on social media is not journalism, but I don't I, think she is either. See, the point I'm trying to make is not to defend. I'm not trying to defend the other stuff, you know, as being journalism and you're not, I'm saying you aren't either. Like they never hold themselves to the same standards. They never, yep. they can, it's like they have these clown mirror glasses on yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, well, totally Allie, distorts you would, reality. I have used this example numerous times on this show. Okay. Now, if I, if here on Tittle Tattle, we were doing a live report and I was standing out here in front of a, you know, heaven forbid, but let's just say, for example, Hey, Bill is at on location on site of a school shooting. Bill, what can you tell us? And you go live to me and there's, something behind me and then there's uh, a live truck and uh yellow caution tape. Well, come to find out later, somebody on Twitter posts a picture that I'm nowhere near the scene. Everybody's going to say, Oh, Allison and Bill on tittle tattle, they're fake news or this, that, and everything else. The average person to distinguish between 
opinion pieces from like a Ben Shapiro or a Dan Bongino and actual facts reported by someone like NBC News or New York Times, but it just shows up in your feed in the same way. And it see, it's like you, yeah, we, you just people just they don't know how to differentiate between between an opinion piece from Ben Shapiro, who literally says he's conservative. Mm -hmm. talk show okay he literally says that i'm pretty sure or a real news piece from nbc which is usually biased and spun and comes from propaganda mouthpieces like communications directors for presidential administrations that obstruct mm -hmm. democracy actually yep. and foyas and journalism uh mm -hmm. but says it's news and journalism yeah how do, yep. how do people differentiate the truth i mean how do they know it is poisoning our democracy joe yeah, you, you know, Dan, uh, I think what's been so shocking to Willie and I talk about it all the time. You, you, you have this idea of people that are believing the conspiracy theories and the big lie and the way the media uh, usually portrays it is it's the great unwashed. Right. It's a, it's a people living, you know, living out in the hinterlands that don't have a college exam. Just it's it's but that's it's complete nonsense. nonsense. Really? OK, I, th this is the part where I, I, I was just like, I mean, all all of it I was. But I'm just sitting here. The unwashed that's and when they say the media usually describes it, I'm like, no, that's how you guys describe Americans who vote a certain way or think a certain way as the unwashed college, uneducated Mm -hmm. type of person who just nah, 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 dueling banjos doesn't wear underwear or shoes lives like, in west virginia know. they run in moonshine and if anyone knows what bullshit smells like it's me because i am an unwashed country bumpkin so i i know bullshit and you know what else i know i know amazing <laughs> wine yes you do yes, you which do. is why you should go get yourself your allisonwinepromo.com thank you for supporting this this work and uh, especially if you're already supporting on the other platforms and uh, doing the monthly subscription stuff. So that's awesome. But nothing pairs better with that musty country smell. You know, when mm. you come in from mucking stalls or just walking in cow patties and you, you smell that that just fermented urine. You're like, what I need is a naturally fermented wine and you know what Ooh. i can deliver that for you at allisonwinepro.com that bottle That's on the right, right. there naturally mm -hmm. fermented the one on the left hand-picked grapes can't get this stuff the one in the middle high altitude extreme altitude wine so nobody never before import like never before imported right. ever never it doesn't say that yeah a never before imported malbec Oh yeah, you're right. It does say that. Mm -hmm. I should. Why haven't I ever pitched that before in my ads? Never before imported ninety point Malbec. Come on, what it's are you from Argentina. For? Come from on, Argentina. guys. And then also go get yourself some Honey Bear. Okay, mm -hmm. Bill. Bill's only your Honey Bear once a week on Tittle Tattle. So if you want to wake up with a Honey Bear every day of the week, you're gonna have to get this limited black edition from TwinEngineCoffee.com/slash Allison. Which also comes with, uh, you know, there's other coffees, but if you're a tea drinker, you can get Keturah tea, which tastes a lot like black tea. It's very good. So, you know, go get your twinenginecoffee.com slash Allison. Go get your AllisonWinePromo.com. Again, I should say the wine is 50% off and 50% off shipping. It's not whether you went to college or not or where you went to college that is the most likely predictor of whether you're going to believe this stuff. It's whether you consume right-wing media. Every study shows if you can serve right wing media, you're more likely to believe conspiracy theories about vaccines, conspiracy theories about elections. That is the problem in this country is that we have a very well funded, very aggressive operation that is spreading these lies for profit and political gain. And it is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. They could be talk. They literally could be talking about themselves. They're, it's like they, they're just woo, 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 woo. Like, are you talking about yourself? this well-funded directed operation to get people to believe lies. Have what you heard about like? COVID-19? What does that sound like? These people, what? Oh my God. God. Do they Bro. all have, I mean, honestly, my husband has multiple tra traumatic brain injuries and he's far, far more connected to reality than. Yeah. Okay. So our produ our producer, the producer of Tittle right. Tattle. Okay. Right now she is watching Peppa Pig, Dora the Explorer with a juice She's box a in one hand. So yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well let, me, let, 
let me rephrase. She could be sitting in her pillow fort watching Dora the Explorer or Peppa Pig with a juice box in one hand and animal crackers in the other and produce a better news segment than this crap you're watching yeah. because yeah. It, it it's such Well, she's garbage. producing it now in her sleep. I do think a clip of this, a short clip of this is going to make it on YouTube because I just think it's, this is so telling and just, vomit inducing but just but but not unique okay and that's why like i just think you know it it, it has a broader implication for like the thought process of yep. corporate news so if you are watching this on one of the other platforms and you get the clip version of it it's shorter than well we're already running at almost 40 minutes this is a show bill and i do for supporters only on rockfin locals and patreon so go sign up if you're on locals you can become part of my editorial board and then you can pitch story ideas for Tittle Tattle or for other interviews. You post questions ahead of time for interviews. AllisonMorrow.Locals.com. I should probably put my banner up so that everybody can see it. And then you'll get this right after we record it. And like I said, we have editorial board meetings once a week, so you can be on the editorial board. The, the problem around this is getting worse every single day. The the media, the right wing media advantage, this op, this disinformation propaganda operation is so much more powerful now than when I worked in the White so it's House. It's getting bigger. It's getting it's, bigger. It's flourishing. Yes. And metastasizing. What what is that her job to like is she is she on thesaurus.com and she's just like she's just reading words like getting bigger, flourishing, Me? metastasizing. It, it, she's on the yeah, yeah, yeah. She she actually just learned that word the other day. She probably had a meeting with Sonny Hostin and went through the dictionary, but um and started picking out words. But okay, let's just say for the sake of this video, for the sake of this conversation, let's say they are right in that the liberal left wing agenda is not getting the push it deserves or the push that they believe it should get and that the right wing conservative agenda is getting much more push and being more believable why do you think that is because you blew it okay you had eight years of obama we had four years of trump which i'm not the biggest fan of but let's be you know fair is fair what's fair is fair What's up, Billy Jean King? Um, but let's be honest. You have every advantage if you're on the left liberal side of things and you still suck. Okay? You're LeBron James. You have everything. You have Russell Westbrook. You have Dwight Howard. You have Carmelo Anthony. You have Anthony Davis. And you still miss the playoffs. Okay? It's because you suck. Your message sucks. And you have everything. You, you had everything in your hand and you let it slip through your fingers. And now people are seeing through your bullshit. I think what we have to do is radically rethink how we communicate. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a role to play here. Democrats have to be more aggressive. We have to invest in building up our own megaphone to compete with the Republicans. We need to, and we know that doesn't mean we build our own Fox News. It doesn't mean we run away from the mainstream. You have media, your own Fox News. It's you have your own Fox News. That's what it's I'm saying. MSNBC. It's called Twitter. That's what I'm saying. What What is wrong with these people? That, that, battling the, oh, hold on. Battling the big lie. The big lie is this. I know. Ask you around. are Fox News. Like, what is wrong Thank with these you. people? You are on MSNBC uh, right now. I'm, and, and, oh. and, uh, Allison, but that's the thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the biggest Ben Shapiro fan anymore. It used to be a guy I really had a lot of respect for. But I'm not the biggest Ben Shapiro fan. But they have an alternative. It's called TYT. The Young Turks and The Daily Wire are arguably the two biggest alternative digital media platforms on the left and the right. It's not like this is an unbalanced fight. It's not like you're talking about Mike Tyson versus Floyd Mayweather. It's it's Mike Tyson versus George Foreman. It really is. And I, he, I, this is classic. He's trying to be the victim. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're getting beat up by digital media. We're getting beat up by conservatives. And there's, please, there's too much information out there. The, yes. There's so much information out there. We need to rein it in. Yes. Yes. You know, I, back when I worked for Obama, we did a good job at that. That's why we, we, <laughs> what he means is that he didn't build, he doesn't need a new Fox news. <laughs> he's he's going to tell you in a second that what you really need to do is start silencing people. He's going to say it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? At least he's consistent. At mm -hmm. least he's consistent. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's continue. Invest in progressive outlets. We're, the media, I think a lot of people need to have to rethink how they deal with people who lie for a living. 
Mm -hmm. And then the social media companies have an, have an obligation to do more. We can't rely on them to do it on their own. And so this is where Congress and the regulators have to step in to think about how we regulate these algorithms that are pushing this disinformation. For See, exactly. Oh so yeah, that's that's saying. exactly it. He has, you know, and people say this is Obama's third term. And you know what? <laughs> when you hear like when you hear this guy talk, it, it yeah. becomes very clear that there's a lot of influence from that administration, whether it's direct or indirect. But yeah, the yeah. idea that this that the answer is just we just have to silence alternative viewpoints. And you hear it from a guy who came from an administration that was well known for doing that and going after reporters and spying on them and threatening, you know, essentially criminal um you know, criminal charges in some cases. Mm. Um, so <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what they want. And, it, and at least he's consistent. That, that, but being consistent, that's at the very least. I mean, that is like saying I am the smartest kid on, I don't know, the, the kindergarten math elite team. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just picking up my book again mm -hmm. and, um, the beginning of that section I read you starts with five weeks ago, the Associated Press exposed the Obama, Obama administration's shockingly broad seizure of AP reporters phone records mm -hmm. as part of a government leak probe. Four weeks mm -hmm. ago came news that the Obama Justice Department targeted a Fox News reporter and his source in a different criminal leak investigation. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, former NSA contractor Ed Snowden began revealing massive secretive surveillance methods the government is using on American citizens. And one week ago, CBS News officially announced that an unauthorized intruder remotely accessed my work computer on repeated occasions using sophisticated methods to search and remove data. Yep. Okay. Now, now you, you and so I. So, in case you're had... wondering what he means by having Congress regulate, just in case yeah. you're wondering what he means, that's I... ever, ever heard of Watergate, folks? Uh, <laughs> that's just... like child's play now. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. 